Another big story today, a look back at the Challenger Space Shuttle. One of those moments, if you were alive at the time, you probably never forgot what happened. And today was a somber day at NASA as the agency observed 39 years since one of their most devastating tragedies. The Challenger Shuttle exploded 73 seconds after lifting off on January 28, 1986. The Space Shuttle was on its 10th mission and was carrying seven people on board, millions of Americans, including school children children hoping to see the first teacher in space witness the tragedy instead. NASA honored the fallen Challenger crew as well as other astronauts of Apollo 1 and Space Shuttle Columbia during its annual day of remembrance ceremony held last week. Now, the Challenger Space Shuttle was under the command of Francis Dix Kobe. Here in San Antonio, his life's work lives on at San Antonio's College Scoby Planetarium. Both Commander Scoby and his wife, Dr. June, were students at San Antonio College, and this Kobe Education Center works to continue the Challenger crew's mission to spark interest and joy in science, technology, engineering, and math to this day. It's phenomenal. And, and can I also talk to you about the Micronaut exhibit? We're actually partners in that one, Ken's Five, with the Micronauts for the little ones. And it's right next to the Education Center. So head out there to San Antonio College and check it out. It's incredible. I love that. Thank you, Bill.